Luminar Neo now includes some game-changing AI photo editing tools and generative AI tools. Luminar's AI photo editing tools are very powerful and easy to use. But what is Luminar Neo? Well, it is the second most used photo editing app in the world behind Adobe Photoshop 2024 and massively growing in popularity. So it is certainly worth exploring when comparing which AI photo editor to use in 2024. Remember to grab a discount with coupon code TIMHARRIS10 if you do choose a subscription, which you can access by following the link in in the description below. Okay, so Luminar Neo comes with all the typical photo editing tools you can imagine. So in this Luminar Neo tutorial, I'll focus on just demonstrating the game-changing AI photo editing tools inside Luminar AI. Luminar Neo really is a one-stop shop for easy and effortless photo editing. A quick look at the website and we can see some of the features that we have included. Not only do we have Gen Swap, Gen Arrays and Gen Expand, we've got other AI photo editing tools such as these ones shown right here. Just a few reasons why Luminar our Neo is so good. Here is just a little bit of an example of some of the tools before and after using Luminar Neo's photo editing tools. Once you've downloaded it, just open it up and away we go. Or if you've already got Luminar Neo, make sure you update it to the latest version of 1.16. And if you're not familiar with Luminar Neo, we have three main areas. That's the catalog, which shows all your content presets and then edit. So this is the area that you'll do most of your photo editing. But to get to the generative AI photo editing tools, come back to catalog and you can see on the right hand side, we have the new generative tools called Generays and GenSwap. And these two are essentially the equivalent of Photoshop's generative AI called Generative Fill, except Luminar Neo breaks these down into Generays and GenSwap, which gives you the opportunity to be a little bit more accurate and perhaps the results from Luminar Neo will be superior to that of Photoshop. Later, we'll talk about Gen Expand, which is a feature that will show up here in the next release in December. I've got access to a little demonstration of that, so we'll run through that later in the video. So be sure to stick around to see that. And that is essentially equivalent to Photoshop's Generative Expand AI photo editing tool. I've got a folder set up here called Generays with three photos in there that we're gonna use the Luminar Neo Generays tool with. So let's start with this image and we'll click Generays to open up that tool. And here is a photo of a girl posing for the camera. And ideally I'd like to remove these four people in the background along with their shadows. Looking at the tool controls down below, we can see we're in Generays. We have the undo and redo button, the info button about what Generays actually does. We have the preview button, which we'll show you in a minute. We have zoom control, which we can also control with our mouse wheel. And we have two buttons, select and deselect. When we're in select mode, that's when we're highlighting the areas we wanna adjust. And if we select deselect, we can remove parts from the selection to be more accurate. This here is the brush size, which we have hotkeys of the bracket left and bracket right to increase and decrease. We can, of course, reset the selection. And then when we're happy with our selection, we can click erase. Let's try it out. So first I might zoom in over here and my brush size is about the right size here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start masking these four people. Be sure to collect their shadow as well. We wanna make sure we capture every single part of these people's shapes. And a good idea is to make sure that we have a little bit of the extents around the outside of the image that we wanna remove so that the AI technology knows what textures are directly alongside the parts of the image we want to remove. Okay, that completes my selection. And as I said before, if I wanna deselect components, I can come through and remove parts of the selection. But this should be quite a simple generase for the software. So I don't really need to do this in this situation. Let's zoom back out. If we wanted to reset our selection, we could do that. But the next step is to go ahead and click Arrays. We need to make sure we have a good internet connection because at this point, what happens is this image along with my selections and instructions will get uploaded to the Luminar Neo server where the computations of the AI technology is done and then it sends it back to our device here. And there we go, it's done a perfect job for us. So what we can do now is zoom in onto our selection and click and hold the preview button to see the before and after. As you can see, we're quite zoomed in here and to the naked eye, if you didn't know that things have been removed from this image, there's no way you could tell that any AI generase was done to this part of the photo. But if you look really closely, you can see there's a few areas where it's a bit darker than what it should be. So if you're really looking for it, you can find it. In this situation, I'm gonna give it a 9.5 out of 10 for the work that it did. From here, I can save the image. And then this photo is populated inside the generative creations folder. Let's do another example. And this time we're gonna remove the boat in the background and the 
out on the beach to leave us with just a perfect landscape photo with no people or distractions in it. We'll zoom in over here and we can see that we've got this boat which we'll select and because we've got an interesting texture in the background this could be quite a challenge for the software because it needs to replace the water with the correct shade, the coastline in the background and then the sky which should be pretty easy. So my selection is complete, I'll click erase and off we go. This AI generates function can take anywhere from 20 seconds to a minute depending on how much it's working on at any one time. Essentially if the area that you're masking is quite small it should arguably take less time to complete than if we're selecting a larger part of the image. Okay that's complete let's zoom in and check out the preview before and after. I think the water is taken care of nicely obviously the sky is too and it's done quite a convincing job of the coastline. Perhaps this part of the image is a little bit off but once again similar to the first photo it's really not noticeable if you're not looking for it. All right, now let's erase this person from the image and we'll go and make sure that we have selected her entire body and we'll be sure to not remove too much else around her. And let's get the shadow here as well. Okay, let's see how well it does in this situation. Essentially, I want you to think of using Gen Erase as doing the heavy lifting for removing objects out of your image. At times, this generative AI technology might not be perfect and you may need to use a bit of clone stamping to do some touch ups on the areas where it's not working so convincingly. Okay that's finished and if we zoom in here and we can look at which parts of the image it's worked on and for the sand and a little bit of water here it's actually done quite a good job. Perhaps in this section here there's a little bit of shadowing there if you look real hard you can probably see that some work's been done but generally it's actually quite good. Also with the coastline back here it's done a really good job. Okay so with the cloud we can see that there's a little bit of shadowing going on there so it hasn't done the best job. What we could do though is select this once again and do another erase or as I said before we could do some clone stamping to improve the look of that. Okay we'll move on to Gen Swap. We'll open up this folder where we have some photos to do the Luminar tutorial on Gen Swap. And let's select this guy and open up Gen Swap once again. Okay so in this image we can see that the studio lights are reflecting off of the sunglasses lenses. Now I tried fixing this in Gen Erase but it didn't do a very good job so I'm going to try it out in Gen Swap instead. So I'm going to highlight these areas that are showing the reflection and then put in the prompt. I'm not really sure what I'd use here for the prompt so I might just try the word dark. I'll hit swap and then we'll have a look at the result. Okay it's actually done a really good job there. Uh, you can see the lens on this side is a little bit darker than the one on that side but in general it's actually done a really good job including having a little bit of transparency through here to the man's forehead. So I'm pretty happy with that result. Okay now that we've had a bit of a demo of both Gen Erase and Gen Swap let's move on to Gen Expand which will be appearing in this toolbar in a few weeks. This is the beta version we're looking at here. So let's do a quick demonstration of Gen Expand. So this tool is as simple as grabbing the handles of the edge of the image and stretching it up, down, left or right to make the bounds of the image wider than what is existing there. And here we are, we have the result. We're looking pretty nice here on the edges. You can see we've extended the trees on both sides and the clouds as well and the footpath down the bottom and everything here looks pretty convincing. Now the one big advantage we have here over Photoshop Generative Expand is with Photoshop the resolution of the expanded section is quite low but Luminar Neo is more powerful with that and has about twice as much resolution than that of Photoshop. I'll cover this tool a little bit more when it becomes available for public release. Luminar Neo has plenty of great pricing options with no locking contracts and you can just purchase one month at a time if you like. There's other photo editing apps out there that is making you lock in for a whole year. So this is great for flexibility. There's promotions running all the time so you can quite often get 30% off most of the packages such as for holiday sales, Black Friday sales, and students can even get 50% off. And in fact, the Black Friday sale is an absolute steal. You get 24 months at only 129 Australian dollars, so 100 US dollars. Now check out this video to see how to get Canva Pro free lifetime, 100% working. Also subscribe to the channel so you can get more AI updates as they happen. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.